So South Africa, you know, generally is a, a few months or to a year behind uh, a lot of these trends. Uh, globally, um, you know, the acceleration happens quicker. Uh, what, what, what happens, however, is that in a number of our industries like banking and our telco industries, uh, we tip, uh, typically are, you know, leaders and adopt these uh, technology cycles fairly quickly. Um, by nature of, um, you know, the types of industries, uh, we see this then pushed into uh, consumers and businesses, uh, you know, as these trends uh, arise. I think we also see it very much at a regional level. I use the Western Cape as a very good example where we've got uh, tons of tech startups that typically are at the leading edge of uh, technology trends and are using you know, those hype cycles to uh, create new business models. So in, in large, I think South Africa a year behind before we see full adoption, but in a lot of instances, you know, sectors and regions are driving uh, you know, tech uh, at the same rate as uh, anywhere else in the world. So I think we've got one or two that have uh, already uh, taken a hold. Uh, you know, one that springs to mind immediately for me is, is cloud. Um, and a lot of organizations have, uh, you know, gone on that uh, cloud journey. I think what will typically happen this year is that we'll see that evolve into a hybrid, hybrid cloud model, uh, which means that uh, companies will start looking at uh, more cloud uh, vendors to, um, you know, augment their uh, business models. Um, and I think that will be accelerated across this year. The next one that is really, uh, you know, uh, being looked forward to is uh, the, the rollout of, of Spectrum and 5G. Um, that's going to be a major game changer um, and will allow a lot of organizations um, to really embrace, uh, you know, this whole digital, uh, you know, world that we're moving into. Um, and 5G, uh, I think, especially for an organ a country like South Africa, um, you know, will give more people access to, to data and effectively allow us to you know, exploit that uh, to drive different business models um, and different types of technology. Um, for example, edge computing will be one of those technologies that will be you know, at the forefront of uh, you know, uh, leveraging 5G as a, as a technology. So you know, one good example of edge would be autonomous cars. So you know, autonomous cars would be using tons of data. And unfortunately, that data can't go to a data center it would have to go to a device or a, or a, a, a typical type of server uh, in close proximity to where the car is and would get the instructions uh, you know, from uh, that type of um, a device uh, and effectively send back the type of data that would uh, allow to uh, you know, travel safely. So I think a lot of uh, corporates will adopt uh, edge um, and effectively drive uh, new uh, types of business models off the back of this. Um, another one would be security. Um, you know, with uh, more and more people working from home, it's opened up corporate networks to a multitude of, of users and threats at the same time. Um, so that's going to be a big driver uh, where organizations are going to have to look at how they secure their environments, but also allow the flexibility for users to work in a very pervasive environment, as well as their customers. I think, uh, you know, this is going to be a, a new trend or a trend that's going to ex expand more so than it has been in the past. Um, and then the other one will be, you know, a, a smarter a, a computing, um, where I think you'll, you'll start to see, especially with the workforce transformation that we've seen over the course of the last year, you know, smarter PCs, uh, you know, being uh, launched, uh, that'll be, you know, more pervasive, uh, will understand, you know, when to switch over networks. I mean, we've been talking about, you know, networks dropping when you're on a, on a call. Um, That'll happen, uh, you know, automatically. Uh, start uh, anticipating, uh, you know, your work style on the computer. Um, so a lot of AI and things like that will be built into into PCs and will allow a much smarter uh, and more robust um, and and uh, flexible environment for people to work from home. Because I think that is going to be, you know, one of the new norms that we'll see. I mean, we've seen the adoption happen in South Africa at, at rapid rates, um, with a lot of large organisations not looking to go back. Uh, to an office environment. So those would be the four major trends that I think we'll see adopted in South Africa in 2021 and 2022. You know, from a tech perspective, uh, you know, the four that I've mentioned are, are critical for our success. Um, you know, we have to, uh, you know, assist customers in, uh, 
you know, getting into into more clouds and 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 making sure that those clouds are well integrated into the business. So the whole hyper cloud, um, hybrid cloud model is, uh, is 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 critical for us and the success of our customers. Uh, security at the forefront of making sure that customers can transact in a secure and safe manner. Um, the smart PC, you know, Dell's uh, business model was founded on on PCs and notebooks. Is a, is a critical driver for us. And I think we're working very hard at creating an environment that is very pervasive, flexible for organizations to be able to allow their, their workforce to work from home or any environment for that, for that example. Um, and, um, you know, the other key trend will be, you know, leveraging off 5G uh, with uh, edge devices, uh, edge uh, computing uh, servers, et cetera. And, and that is really just to drive new business models uh, for organizations. Uh, and also within the 5G environment, um, you know, 5G is also becoming a, a much uh, a more open um, uh, technology, you know, much more software driven, uh, much more standards based, and also much more aligned uh, away from a telco environment into more of a IT type of environment. So also being more, um, you know, cloud aware. So that's another component where we'd be uh, working with uh, telcos uh, and some of our partners to drive uh, you know, that type of um, adoption of 5G. I really believe it's going to be a game changer, specifically in South Africa, um, where we've had challenges in, in uh, you know, providing our, our, our broader population with, uh, you know, accessible um, uh, data and, and, and data inputs. It's been a, a good sponsorship for us. Um, you know, we've worked with the Springboks for the, the past three years and we're looking to re-sign that contract this year. Um, I think, again, you know, uh, most organizations are going through some form of digital transformation. And that was very much the case when, uh, you know, we entered into this partnership with the Springbok rugby team. And uh, a lot of the input that we're providing is obviously making sure that they have uh, access to stats, data, um, and really can also work with, uh, you know, their uh, broader family. You know, the, the, the Springbok rugby team is scattered across the globe, um, and yet you need to stay in touch with uh, your players, uh, the player uh, welfare, the management of the players, as well as tactics. So we've played a, a crucial role in setting up a lot of that, um, you know, tech uh, so that they can stay at the forefront of, uh, you know, their performance and, and things like that. So, you know, being a very... Uh, healthy and uh, and worthwhile uh, partnership, and we've seen them uh, utilize technology to the benefit. Uh, and you know, very fortunate to see that happen with the World Cup uh, victory. I think uh, we're probably going to see a hybrid environment uh, and not a total virtual environment for uh, people working from home. Um, I think we're going to find that people need to balance. Um, you know, a social interaction uh, with their virtual environment. It's also quite a, a strenuous environment to manage. So we haven't put all the different cadence uh, methodologies in place. And I think technology plays a, a large part when uh, we start getting a pervasive, flexible environment in place. So I think the new norm will very much, uh, you know, find a midway where we can balance between, you know, an on uh, a site uh, environment versus a, a work from home environment for, for workers in general. And then I think what we'll also see, uh, you know, happen this year is that you'll see a lot of automation happen, um, you know, with uh, artificial intelli intelligence, robotics, uh, where we'll take a lot of repetitive and manual type of tasks out of the equation and automate that and, uh, you know, create environments that are a little bit more, um, you know, uh, uh, how can I put it, uh, you know, virtual in, in nature uh, without utilizing, uh, you know, uh, assets that uh, would typically uh, be um, required to, to do that uh, manual or mundane task. 